This is the Conservative Czar, November 30th, 2015. And I, and I just want to talk a little bit about uh, the politics of what's going on right now. And, and it's a clear, clear pattern that we're going to have of the entire Republican establishment, the mass media, Fox News, they're going to go after one after another, and uh, 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 Trump, Carson, and Cruz, the outsiders. And uh, they're going to go after them. Uh, the, Fiorina is also an outsider, but she's dropped enough in the polls. We're not going to pay any attention. They spent the last month going after Ben Carson. His slip in the polls is enough for them. They think he's, he's, heading, he's heading down and south. Uh, and they've effectively marginalized Carson. I don't know if they've effectively done it, but they think they've done it. And now they're going to move on to the, the full court permanent attack on, on Donald Trump. And it is going to be vicious. And now, now he's given him ammunition, but, but it, it's going to be just like Sarah Palin. Most of the ammunition will be phony. The attacks will come from uh, so-called conservatives. Fox News will, you know, this, the, the, the insidious nature of the mass media uh, again, when they go after a conservative politician, it, and the way they do it is is that the, you watch the amount of snide, snarky comments that they make about a candidate. They did it with Palin. They're doing it with Trump now. On Fox News, it's everywhere. I mean, even in the commercials, they're attacking snide remarks about Donald Trump. Yeah, I just watched a, a whole segment on politics uh, where, where they didn't talk about Trump, they didn't talk about Carson, they didn't talk about Cruz, they, they they spent quoted Rubio twice, and then spent a segment on how Christie is coming up. Uh, you know, the, the, the attack on the outsiders is going to be relentless. And their strategy, concerted strategy, attack Carson for three or four weeks, defeat him, get him out of the way. They think he's gone. And then now, train all the guns to the final, final battle against Trump and never, never let up. And, they're good, and, and, and I'm telling you, conservatives, don't fall for this crap. You fall for it every time. You, fall, you fell for it with Sarah Palin. You fell for it. You know, the New York Times says, well, she said something. Oh, well, you know, maybe, 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 uh, maybe she did. Maybe she, let's, let's go to Romney. Yeah, you idiots. Uh, and, and, and that's going to happen again if we don't shape up. Now, the electorate this time, conservatives this time, are holding on longer than they ever have before. They're saying, no, I won't be bothered by this trivial garbage. I'm going to stick with the issue, stick with the candidate, stick with a guy that, that, that has some backbone and will stand up for us. And so, so, so there is this uh, fight, but it's, uh, we have seen nothing nothing like what is going to be leveled at Donald Trump now. The war has been declared. A dangerous, dangerous war, by the way, because it's 50-50 whether Donald Trump will write that ticket, will write that check, and it'll be about a $200 million check, $300 million check, $400 million check to run as a third party. They are going to abuse him so bad that it'll come right down to that day. Do I write the check or not? And it's 50-50. And, and the Republican establishment needs to be needs to be gotten rid of, get rid of them, and 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 the snide comments. I, I want to concentrate on, on on one of the the one that's going around now, and that has to do with this uh, Trump saying I I saw videos of Muslims on the rooftops cheering uh, the 9/11, and and they came back. Oh no no no! The police did an investigation. First of all, the only proof the police ever did an investigation was this one little article saying the police did an investigation. We have no idea what kind of investigation. What, did they send a cop out there? Hey, did anybody on the rooftop cheering? Baloney. Okay, now, the narrative of Trump has some problems. Yeah, I, yeah and, and this is, they're going to hit these problems. They're going to hit and hit and hit them. And you're going to tend to believe them. Now, I want you to step back for one minute. Step back. Think for a second. Do you think that on 9-11 there weren't any Muslims in the United States cheering the attack? If you think there were none, get away, get lost. 
We know there were some. We're positive there were some. There were some. We saw them cheering in the streets at, uh, in, in, in the Palestine, in uh, Egypt. We saw that. Do you think that there wasn't any Muslims celebrating 9-11? If you think there were none, you, you're in another world. It's almost, it's almost certain that there were some. So the basic idea that Trump's trying to, to tell is that there were some celebrations going on by the Muslims for 9-11. It's probably almost certainly true. Stick for, for conservatives... For, we, we are not going to have perfect candidates. We're going to have, if, if, if we, and this has been a problem with conservatives, you know, uh, Bill Clinton, the, uh, John F. Kennedy, Bill Clinton, disgusting human beings when it came to their abuse of women. Democrats aren't bothered by it. They're not bothered by it. You know, we have, we have one person who makes a mistake once and they're gone. We can't, fight this battle that way. We have to accept some foibles in our candidates as long as the principles and issues are correct. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take a lot as long as the principles and the issues are correct. Now, let me tell you something. Contrary to what everybody says, Donald Trump, Ben Carson, and Ted Cruz would make great presidents. Great presidents. And they've all presented substance to the debate. Donald Trump more than anyone else. Donald Trump has provided substance after substance after substance. He lays out this whole thing on immigration. Oh, that's not, that's not substance. How are you going to do this and this and this? Where are the other candidates' plans? There are ambiguous you know, statements here and there. No. Donald Trump has, has more substance, I believe, than any other candidate has. And he's laid out his beliefs more than any other candidate has. Any one of these three, Carson, Trump, Cruz would make fine conservative presidents. And let me make one other little point. Doesn't make any difference whether we win. I know this, you know, all this tab, oh, we got to win, we got to. No, you don't. What you need to do is just what Barry Goldwater did lay the arguments out, fight the battle. This is a battle of ideas. And in the United States, for some strange reason, the battle of ideas is almost always fought along presidential elections. When we have a candidate like Ron, Milk Toast Romney, who doesn't, who is an establishment moderate Republican, lay, laying out the arguments of the moderate establishment, we get nowhere. We are better off with a candidate that will fight the battle and lose. We'll, we'll be back to fight another day. This is the conservative czar. See you next time.